All right. Oh. It's definitely business hours now. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How can I help? Um, I haven't gotten any further updates, and it's been such a long time. Have you, for one, and we'll start there. Updates on what? The whole situation. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. No one said anything to me. Okay. Um, we come, we've come to this time where someone... My stalker called y'all and told you all lies. He said that I caused a disturbance and caused the police to be called. No, the same stalker that called you and told you that was harassing me, and I called the police for help. Okay, everything's well documented. I have all the necessary paperwork. I apologize profusely for this situation. You can't understand how much I would like it not to be thus. But it is, I'm the victim of a crime. Can we all please move on past this? And well, last time you came and explained all this to me, I said that I would forward your our conversation to Friendship Shelter, which I did. I right. haven't heard anything. Exactly. Like Same here. Same here. Would you like me to contact them again today? Yes, I would like to. I, I picked okay. today to follow. I mean, okay. I, well, well, I, I'm, I'm freeballing this. I don't know what schedule. <laughs> Um, sure. I, I, yeah, but I'll get in touch with them today and let them know that you're wondering what's going on. The stalker has bragged openly about having called you, and he's pulled tricks like this we before. We haven't heard anything from anybody. N no, they're... Not for a while. We've, for a while, yeah, but yeah. back then. Yeah. He, the situation has been... Dis he fabricated the whole thing. Okay. Okay, and again, let's please not be adversarial. I'm a poor man. I don't do anything wrong. If you... Oh, oh, I forgot. I don't know. It's a secondary thing. I, I guess to focus on my issue, but I wanted a trespass for him. I told them their trespass can't come here, and they argued with me. They were like, well, look, no, no, no. Your unit, yeah, but the par the complex is open to the public. If we want to go door to door and talk about satanic pedophiles, we're, we're allowed to do that. The management has to trespass. It's not you. And I looked, and it kind of seems that that is the case. So would you please trespass? My stalkers and their group, if you, you can do it audibly right now, I'm going to post this right away. You just say, hey, this group of people, Louis Stefano and his friends and the, the Salty Swimmers and the Troll Brigade Mafia, don't come here on this property. I can't, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I, you you I can't? No, I can't do that, and I, I don't want you to film me. Um, um, well, is, hold on. The, the, I can't do that for the property, but they were specifically outside my unit in the driveway and gave the unit number and everything. If you want to prohibit someone from coming near you, then you would have to get a personal restraining order. Yeah, yeah, that's a long, arduous yeah. process. I've had one in this mix before. There was one between 2015 and 2018. I'm well-versed and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but that's completely separate from trespass. Once you audibly warn someone that they're not welcome to come to this property, if they come, then they will be guilty of the crime of, uh, the misdemeanor crime of trespass. Uh, I just don't have authority for the property you do. All you have to do, like if there was a miscreant out here, some some crackhead in the bushes, you could say, hey, get off the property because you're management. So why on earth would you not want to say, hey, these people don't come here. They have no business here. Yeah, but it, it's not that easy because we've tried to do that before with others and it's not possible for oh, us to say. What's okay. it going to hurt? Huh? How's it, what's it going to hurt to say, hey, well, don't come here? I, I, I have a job to do, and I have you have a job. To do. All you can do, is say right. I'm telling you, it does hold legal weight since you're property management. If you say don't come to this property, they would have to stay at least out in the road, which is out of sniper range um, of me. Like it's on a direct line of sight. So it's such a but simple, I'm, small thing. I'm asking, I, hey, don't come I'm, here, people. I'm making a decision for the property based on something that you're telling me that I have no awareness of. So that would take me having to research and see. I'm not even sure that the property would want me to, to state publicly that a certain individual has no right to be in this property when I have no idea who, who they are or anything that they've done wrong. I'm just going on what you're telling me. Well, so, you can remedy that with research. Okay, well, okay. 
but I don't have time to do research on that right now. Okay, well, right now, I yeah, mean, I just, like I said, I honestly, chose at random today. Yeah, that was an appropriate length of time. You're all with me, what was it, three weeks? Sure, yeah, no, Like, I mean, I'm, know, I'm not before, bothering you too often. Shelter is our client. I'm well aware. are their client. All right, that brings me to another point. I, they're not telling me anything. So I want to know if there are court proceedings between you and them. I'm, um, uh, what's, there's a term for this, and I'm not involved, but, um, well, I can't divulge any information about any of our clients slash residents. But I am. Party. But I, there, there's well, a. You are an occupant of their apartment. Yeah. It is a corporate apartment. But if there's they legal proceedings going on on my unit, then then I have the right to be aware of them. Okay, and I don't know. I'm not been aware of them, so okay, I want to be informed of what then proceedings you would are going. Go to them and ask them that question. Well, you okay? They're telling me that you're evicting them. So from their perspective, or from my f face reading, I'm not I'm just taking everything at face value. Um, you're forcing the eviction by coming after them, but that means you're breaking the law because you're evicting me for calling the police for help. And now, conveniently, the, the report that you're working with doesn't say that. It says that I caused a disturbance and the police got called. But considering that's a flagrant lie, and that's everyone knows that, and I have video of it, and there's you know there's a, a whole point to that, and the one manipulating and pulling these strings, same dude that's causing the problem. Actually, by the way, there's a group, just so I keep saying do-do, but it's far okay. more serious than that. Sure. Um, I think I understand what you're saying, but... I, I will say finally and unequivocally that I cannot divulge any information about the business between Avalon Bay and Friendship Shelter because they are our client. Okay, so well, whether or not you divulge it to can me. Can I finish, please? I'm sorry. Um, anything that you want to know about what's going on with your apartment as far as Friendship Shelter is concerned, you have to get that info from them. Right. I'm waiting. Um, so, secondly, um, I, I can't and I won't stand out here and debate back and forth with you um, because I, I don't I don't want any hard feelings between well, us. Well, you could have let me in to sit down like a regular person. I don't... But you don't have an appointment and we work off of appointments now. Oh. And again, everything is supposed to go through Friendship Shelter. So right. Like I said, there's problems. Basically, people are pointing the finger at each other over this lie business. However, they're telling me their last word, and it has been some time now, but they're telling me that you're pushing the eviction, okay, based on that lie. So you all could remedy the situation, but like, oh, we made a mistake. This isn't what happened. Never mind. And then everything goes away and everything's fine, okay? Um, again, you can't understand how sorry I am. I don't want anything to do with these people they're thugs they're hooligans okay i'm not their only victim and could, could you do that for me would you take two minutes here and watch a, another victim plead for mercy that has a he, he has a visible disability and speech impediment and it's to watch him beg for mercy same people i'm same yeah. I'm, i know i look like i, I do like it is i can't help what i look like but some of their victims are old ladies, some of their pupils are cripples. Plenty of their victims are minorities. Yeah, we, we don't have any problem whatsoever with you, Colton, I promise you. you can, okay, you got it, good. You, we just want all residents to be comfortable here and obey the rules and regulations. That's all we ask of anyone. So I'm not doing anything. I just can't stop them from bothering me. And I'm horribly sorry. And I'm trying everything. I've had restraining orders. I've served jail time. I've invested in technology. I pay for digital backups. I, 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 I open the suggestions as well. I, I don't know what to do. I'm horribly sorry. I'm going to get in touch with Friendship Shelter, with our representative that we deal with, and let them know that you're you're really wanting some information about what's going on and that I cannot give it to you unless they allow me to. That's um, a good point. Like, I, I think I should to, be in the loop. I think I should be. And then if they allow me to, I can and will. So if they, they may pick up better for you than me because okay, sure. at the end of the day, I'm some retard. You're. No, don't say that about yourself. Don't say that about yourself. You're a worthwhile person just like everyone else. So um, let me get in touch with them. That's another thing. The stalkers are really trying because I'm doing so much. They hate to see me. 
that's it's a provocation for them to see me eat a good meal. I got it. Well, yeah, the that that you're going through situation, I'm sorry to hear about, but I don't honestly, to be honest with you, I don't want any part of that. I don't want to watch any videos. I don't that I don't want any part of that. I'm sorry that you're going through it, but I'm not going to enter into that. I can that I can situation. understand that these people are crazy, and that's why I that's why it's so criminal with the harassing messages. You know, I'm like, look, I, I'm tired of hearing the voice. It's a whole thing. Anyway, um, I, you, you can just take my word for it then. So what's better for me to contact you after I get in, t in touch with you? You've got my numbers, I'm sure. You want me to call or email? Is it Either is one, whatever's convenient okay. for you. All right, um, I'm going to email them as soon as we're done talking. I appreciate you saying you don't have a problem with me. Like, no. I'm really, uh, besides this one issue, other than that, I'm a, actually a pretty good tenant. I don't socialize. Mm -hmm. At my only friend that might come over is a hunchbacked old lady, a 60-year-old <laughs> spinster. I swear. Okay. And she's Catholic. We argue. I'm, All right. I'm, I'm, I, I, well, I'm let me really, get in touch with them. And I need this. This okay. is so bad. I'm old. I've got back issues that are... I need to have surgery coming up. The, the broken shoulder is causing my back issues. It needs to be repaired. Mm -hmm. And that's a... You know, I need a half year to recover. I'm tough, but you can't do yeah. hard-style homeless with the... Let me get yeah, in touch with much. them and tell them they really need to reach out to you and give you some information or need to allow me to do so. And also, and I want to talk to your uppers, the people here. I want to talk to them. I don't have any bureauc bureaucracy and office clerks. People just say, shuffle papers and they, don't, they may not know, but who knows? Maybe someone would have a heart if I just explain the situation to them. It's well, not easily. Oh, I need to take this call. I'm sorry. Okay, I will get in well. touch with them and get back to you. I'm assuming they'll get back to me today. They usually do. So I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Today, they, they, I'm just not. saying it's crazy that it took so long to get back to me. Okay. It's they're they're well, being me. Someone just needs to admit they made a mistake or got suckered, whatever. Okay. That's it's a mistake. Okay. Nothing, I'm not gonna do it. The only problem is if it we don't fix it. So okay. let's fix it. Gotcha. I think Thank I understand you. and I will do my best. Right. I'll Have get a good back evening. to you today. You too.